was sponsored by the CCP to talk positive. <laughs> Why Chinese people are the happiest people in the world. Are you happy? Uh, well, I... I Hi YouTube, this is Sabrina in China. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining. I want to say thank you to everyone who watched my videos, shared my videos, liked my videos, commented under my videos, and got me to 1,500 subscribers. Ah! Thank you so much. I am so, so grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. Mwah. <laughs> Mmm, the last video I posted, <laughs> a lot of persons commented and <laughs> I saw some people, they were saying that I was sponsored by the CCP to talk positive, <laughs> to say positive things about China. <laughs> and I just want to say, I just want to say, if you know someone in the CCP that is handing out money to foreigners to, to speak positive things about China, <laughs> please share my videos with them, share my channel with them. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine the high quality videos I would be posting and how often I would be posting if I was sponsored by the CCP? Hi, <laughs> Amaya. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> if you know <laughs> if you know someone in the CCP that is giving foreigners money to speak positive things about China. I am on board, okay? It would be the easiest job. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> In today's video, I want to talk about four Chinese values that I absolutely love, love about Chinese culture and Chinese people. And the first one is family. Chinese people for the longest time have placed high value on family, maintaining family relationships, protecting the family, providing for the family, being with their family. Chinese people love, love their family. And I love how much family, how important family is in China. And <laughs> I remember last year, by now everyone should know that I'm a kindergarten teacher. I remember I was in a class last year and I was teaching the topic of family and I was asking the kids, they were like six years old, do you have a mom, do you have a dad? And the kids said yes, the kids said yes I do. And I remember this girl, she laughed and she said, she said, Sabrina Lao Shu, you're so silly. Everyone has a mom and a dad at home. And in that moment, my eyes were filled with tears you know because i thought about my own country jamaica how many kids live without a mom and dad at home in that moment i just felt so so sad for my country so sad for the kids in my country that it is not the norm for them to say everyone has a mom and dad at home because that is not a reality a lot of kids in Jamaica, they grew up without mom and dad. And I'm not saying that there aren't single parents in China. There are. In fact, I dated a Chinese guy who told me he grew up with his mom and he didn't have a dad at home. So there are single parents in China. However, that is not the rule. That is the exception. The rule is family is important. And I love that about China. And I think that is why there aren't so many social issues in China that we face in, in, in Western countries. Because when you take away family from society, it will be the start of societal decay. It will be the start of so many problems in society. And I did a video last week where I talk about the fact that I've never seen a homeless person in China. And I believe it is because of family. And yes, persons responded in the comment section and they said they have seen homeless people in China. I am not debating that. Absolutely not. No society is perfect. There are, there may be homeless people in China. However, I've never seen, seen that. But I believe that the importance of family is one of the reasons why 
the importance placed on family in China is one of the reasons why the streets of China are not overflowing with homeless people. I, I believe that the importance placed on family is one of the reasons why they aren't a single so many single parents household in China. I believe the importance placed on family is one of the reasons why Chinese people are the happiest people in the world. Do you know that there's a study that said Chinese people are the happiest people in the world? Do you know yes. the study? Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, that was about uh, one week ago. Yes. yes. Are you happy? Uh, I see you. After I saw you, I become very, very happy. <laughs> See, Chinese people are happy. <laughs> you know, a study by Ipsos said that Chinese people are the happiest people in the world. And one of the measure, one of the, the measurement for happiness was family. And yeah, that is why. Uh, I think that is definitely one of the reasons why Chinese people are, are ranked the happiest people in the world because family is important. No matter what, family is important. At the end of the day, when you go out in the world and the whole world hurts you and everything is wrong, I believe that having a family to go home to is something that takes the burden away. I remember I remember when I was in in primary school and I would have a difficult day thank God I had a mom and dad growing up and I remember when I was uh, in primary school and I had a difficult day and I would just think about going home to mom and dad because everything would be okay and they would love me and I would be accepted I can remember clearly having those thoughts when I was in primary school you know whenever something went wrong i just wanted to go home because i knew at home there was acceptance you know there was love and care and no one would hurt me there and so family is important and a lot of things are going right in the chinese society because of the importance of family young men and women are encouraged to grow up have a wife have a husband get married have kids you know that is encouraged you, you get pressure from your family you get pressure from your friends here is a perfect example from my chinese friend and no i wasn't offended your friends to get married have have kids it is the norm and i love that and if that is not for you if you're someone you do not want to get married you do not want to have kids that is okay I'm not saying that you I'm not saying that you must do this I'm not saying that this is the only way for 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 true happiness in the world other people can find happiness outside of family maybe but the second value that I love about China and that is education Chinese people spend a lot of money on their children children's education edu I think the world knows this in, in Asia <laughs> I think the world knows this about China and Asian countries that there's a high value placed on education in my own kindergarten parents spent a lot of money a lot of money to send their kids to that school it's it's, it's a private kindergarten the children there they learn English Spanish uh, tennis, golf, ballet, piano, so many things and parents are very involved in, in my school, in the kids homework. I was talking to a parent uh, last semester and she told me that she would quit her job. She would quit her job because she needs to spend more time reviewing at home with her son so that her son could get into a very good primary school. And you know what? This semester I talked with that mom and she quit her job. She quit her job. And can I tell you, her son has improved tremendously. Like I can see the difference in her son since she quit the job and starting to spend time with, it, with him at home. He has improved tremendously. And that's the kind of value Chinese parents place on education. It is another reason why I think it's another reason why Chinese the, the Chinese society was able 
to lift themselves out of poverty because of the value placed on education even the other day a chinese teacher was telling me that i we were talking about having open day and i said oh my gosh we're going to have another open day and open day is a day where parents come into the school and watch the class and i was saying to the chinese teacher i said oh my gosh we're having another open day aren't parents busy with work and stuff and she told me when it comes to education chinese parents they will come they will not complain they will come they will come to the school they want to see they want to see what's going on with their kids chinese parents are very involved in their kids education there is a high value placed on education and i love that for me i believe education is one of the reasons why i'm in the position that i am today so i do value education i believe that education is important so i do love that chinese people love education and place a high value in that i believe that a lot of people can be lifted out of poverty uh through education I another important value in china it's called mianzi and this is where chinese people they love to protect their reputation their name and i like that this is in every area of chinese society business school play wherever you are encouraged to put your best face forward you know what i you are encouraged to put your best face forward hello how are you I'm editing this video and I just realized that this is a perfect example of means in China. <laughs> this old man was interrupting me while I was videoing and instead of showing him an angry face, I just gave him a kind smile. Means. <laughs> In, in my culture we love to promote this thing called bluntness that you know i'm going to be blunt i can't hide my emotions i can't hide my feelings i'm just going to tell it as tell it as it is in my culture we love to promote this thing of tell it as it is in china no 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 it is not okay to tell it as it is <laughs> you know if if someone makes a dinner for you and you don't like it you don't need to verbalize that you don't need to tell the person that hey this dinner is not okay it is not okay and if you are ever in china doing business this is something that you must understand in fact i was working at a kindergarten with with a foreigner and he was from a culture where you tell it at it as it is you tell the boss how you feel you don't care you just tell you just tell it as it is and he, he was about that lifestyle he was about telling it as it is and he got fired <laughs> you know he got fired because it is not okay to just uh totally verbalize whatever mean thing you want to say how you want to say it say it as it is i don't care i'm just gonna tell how i want to tell i'm gonna say what i want to say if you want to work in china successfully you will learn very quickly that it is not okay to tell it as it is it is absolutely not okay so i think chinese people encourage respect it's not okay for you to let another person feel bad. It's not okay for you to tell it as it is. It's not okay for you to be shameless. It's not okay for you to be rude. In business, if you disagree with someone, you don't publicly go ahead and say, oh, I disagree with this person. And you must find the best and kindest way to tell why you disagree with someone. It is very important in China to have a good reputation this is so important in chinese society and i think it goes back to supporting your family also in china it's not okay to bring shame to your family so i like that in china people respect other people's feelings and care about their reputation yeah that is it for my video today guys thank you so much for watching and thank you for spending your time with me this is sabrina in china Goodbye.